Okay, YouTube, this is a video on how to adjust the timing with VCDS for a Volkswagen TDI from 1999 and a half to 2003. So, you open up your VCDS, select your control module, click on the engine, you log in and the code to log in with is 12233 three. then you click do it after you do that you click adaptation or adaptation at the top you tap it and it'll scroll down it's injection quantity idle speed EGR start of injection and starting conditions so we're doing injection timing so we do um, start of injection it says modification is strongly discouraged I've done this on at least four vehicles and they've been running that way for tens of thousands of miles ours has been running for about 20,000 miles advanced so I wouldn't be worried about it at all the value that's going to be stored stock is 32,768 when you go to advance it, the value you want to put in, which is the maximum, is 33,268. And if you ever want to change back, all, all of the um, values in the top for injection quantity and whatnot, all of them stock are 32,768. So your timing, right? or the specified timing is going to be about 0.4 degrees before top dead center for a stock engine. After you punch in your new number of 33,268 you click test it'll advance it to five and a half degrees before top dead center. You save it and you're done. If you want to um, check the mechanical timing you hit basic settings click go for group 000 TDI timing you select your engine ours is the ALH 0499 and I have it set very advanced since we advanced the timing electronically we need to make sure we have the computer can actually get it advanced that much so instead of being on the blue line like you normally would with uh, the stock adaptation, you would you want to be more like on the green line. You could probably be a little bit more retarded than that, or you know retard the timing a little bit more than that. But this has been working good, and we've been getting real good mileage. So that's it.